Telemetry is very important in Formula 1, although nowadays you're only allowed to use it one way, from the car to the pits and not uh, back to the car, but uh, you can still get a lot of information out of it and try to help the, the balance, for example, or help the car to last if there's a failure. But even more importantly, it's the biggest tool I have together with my engineer in order to improve the, the setup and the balance of the car. Uh, as a driver, I feel what the car is doing, but then I can check on the data what exactly uh, happens, why I get this and that behavior, and then we try to, to search within the couple of hundred uh, measurements we have. Uh, yeah, we try to understand and then rectify the problem. Uh, telemetry is a very important uh, point in Formula One. It's, uh, it's high technology telemetry, so in the end, the engineers who are sitting in the garage, they can see everything what I'm doing in the car. Uh, also, it's helpful for a driver to see where you can improve, what mistakes you are doing, what the car is doing. So it's not only feeling of the driver, but it also goes with the telemetry. So mainly it happens like this, that when you stop, uh, you explain to the engineers what the car does, but then uh, we, we go to see it in the telemetry to really see what's, what it uh, can be the problem, what it does, where it comes from and stuff like this. So uh, in the end, telemetry is, is very important and you can learn a lot and it can give you really a lot of information. Of course, if you can read it properly and if you can use, use it properly. The telemetry plays a, an important role in Formula One and we have to divide it into two, say, different areas. One is performance and one is reliability. On a performance side, engineers on a racetrack and also on the base in Munich and in Hinville, see, they, they can analyze the data and they can work on a setup and make the suggestions for, say, for improving the setup of a car. Second factor is reliability. With the telemetry, we are in a position that we see already critical areas. Let's say there's overheating of one component. We see it already when the car is running. That means we can stop the, the car on a track or guide it uh, safely, sa safely back into the pit uh, before we see any major problem on the car itself.